Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. If you see me crying, it's because I'm having an emotional day and I don't know why that happens, but like once every six months or so, I'll just cry all the time. Like somebody will tell me a joke and I'll just cry or I watch something emotional, I'll just cry. Somebody asked me, but I haven't cried in a while. I never am like this, but oh, sometimes I get like this, so bear with me. But anyways, we're just headed out to do some fun homeschool stuff. I'm gonna take you guys with us, but I have to tell you something crazy that happened to me and my dog today. Like, I'm not joking, this actually happened and it just is still shocking to me. I have to tell you guys a little backstory first. I have a friend who had a out of body experience. That means like he almost died. And when he almost died, he went to heaven and had this experience in heaven and then he came back to life. And so while he was sick and almost dying and he was in heaven so what he told me when he came back to earth when he came back to life was that in heaven when that everybody that you love all the people that are part of your family or the people that you care about that are in heaven they spend time communicating with you all the time they never leave you they stay with you and they're always like a part of your life see i just get so emotional so he told me this is like last year he told me this story and he told me that when he said that when people are in heaven they can control like electronic things and one way they communicate it with us is that they can put ads on YouTube channels so that you that you will see so that you can know what they want you to know it sounds confusing he said that they showed him how they can put an ad on a YouTube video or direct you to a YouTube video or make something start playing so that you watch it and I've always like remembered that and I've always believed in that and I've always like loved the idea that the people that have gone before you can help guide you on earth. So <laughs> this morning, <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that at all, but I was sitting on the, on the floor this morning playing with my puppy, having an emotional morning and I was thinking like, I'm, I know this is just a stage with her, but oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm trying to do so many things with her and I just like, we're just hitting wall after wall. And the biggest thing is that if she doesn't want to do something, she doesn't want to do it and that is it. And I've done this thing where I do like, so it's mostly me picking her up because when I pick her up, sometimes I brush her hair. Sometimes I... Like, and, and she likes her hair being brushed, but if she doesn't want her hair being brushed when she doesn't want it being brushed, then she doesn't like it. But anyway, our big issue right now is being picked up. And I've, I've tried like a lot of techniques that I know have worked before and none of them are working with her. Like I make every time I pick her up a positive experience and it's not even the picking up because when she wants me to pick her up, holy heck, she is... It, she can let me know what she wants like at the top of the stairs she runs there she sits there and as soon as I start walking toward her she puts her her arms up and she's like you are not going downstairs without picking me up or if she's tired she will follow me around the whole entire house with her arms in the air trying to get me to pick her up like it's not that I can't pick her up it's that she doesn't want me to do it when I want to do it only on her terms everything on her terms has been frustrating so today I'm sitting on the floor we had her two hours together like the only really good two hours we have during the day because the rest of the day she just plays with the dog so we're sitting there and she's sitting on the carpet and I swear to god she's glowering at glowering at me like she's like this at me and I'm looking at her and I'm watching a video because she won't do anything with me she won't do the things that I want unless I train her with treats because she wants treats but anything else I want to do she won't do so she's glowering at me and I'm looking at her and I'm sad because I want to like be bonding with her and so this is where it gets funny if you followed this long this is where it gets funny so I, I start watching a video on YouTube because I'm like okay I can't catch her as soon as I make a move to pick her up she runs from me so I start watching a video on YouTube and I'm watching it I'm watching it and then it's still playing but I look away and I look over at her and I and I'm just looking at her and I'm thinking why are you so hard and then I say that and I look back at my video and right at the second that I look back at my video there's an ad playing <laughs> and it's words across my screen I'm gonna find the ad and I'll show you the words and it says I swear to God it says your dog is spoiled <laughs> I just started crying 
and laughing because I know someone in Athens was trying to get me that message. But I mean, uh, so it made me laugh and it made me realize, okay, she's spoiled, but now what? Like, now what do I do? So yeah, my puppy is spoiled. She's a brat. I'm not even joking. She's a brat. The thing is, is that she's good in every way. She's good in every single way. She learns so fast. She knows my routine. She learned my routine. She doesn't ever want to do anything wrong. But, she, and I know it's the terrier in her. I know that she's a terrier and terriers are so oh, feisty and so independent and strong-minded. And it's me too, or I'm like that. And I understand that and I respect that in her and I love that in her, but we are, are clashing heads all the time. And the problem is, is that even if she's spoiled, like I'm not prepared to act or in a way that goes against my morals or my goals. And I know that God's sending me this lesson because I meant to learn like a better way, but one that aligns with my morals. So, oh, so that is what I'm working on. If you have positive reinforcement ways to teach a puppy to bend to your will, I would love to hear them. I've tried like the 10, 10, 10, two rule or eight, two rule. Like I pick her up. I make every time I pick her up eight times out of 10, positive reasons only. I only pick her up and love her and kiss her and hug her and I only make it positive. And then like maybe one time I'll pick her up and brush her or I'll pick her up and like have ulterior motives like want to cuddle her or something ridiculous like that. But that one time that I do it is enough for her to say I will never get with you again and I feel like I should just wait she's older to groom her but at the same time I I don't know if that's right I don't know tell me what I'm doing wrong guys okay so for homeschool today we are gonna start our garden we're gonna make a big garden again this year but hopefully make it better and we're gonna start seeds growing seeds planting season here is the end of May and I love all the planting stuff they have at our dollar store this is an entire kit though and it's got all the little things where you can grow them and then it's got the stakes where you can put what they are. The problem with these are that our plants are going to get too big to be in this small of a space. I might get one of these too. I want to get Ellie some chew toys that the dogs won't take from her. So I have enough of these little bags to last me forever. But I don't have any pink ones. I love pink ones. I also want to try some different kind of treats that might help in my training. And some dental chews. They had the ones with Yorkies on the front, but I got them Border Collie ones. We need straws. But we're not supposed to have straws. Straws are bad for the environment. Sophie's checking out my treats to make sure that they're okay. Do you see any treats that Daisy can have? We don't give Daisy. We're very particular about what treats we give her. The dollar store even sells soil potting mix. Two bags for $1.50. So 75 cents each. It's a rope toy. What do you guys think? Should we get our dogs a horse? The problem I have with these kind of toys is that our dogs rip them apart in one day. No, but this is a rope toy. Yeah, it's I a rope think, toy. So there's no stuffing. I mean, that's cool, but still they'd rip it apart. It's a rope toy though. I think um, we should get a chicken. Guys, we got, we have chickens. We're gonna do a haul when we get home. We're gonna do a haul when we, we get home. We have dog treats for Daisy because I can't oh. find them anywhere. This Gabby wants a rubber chicken. Ah! Yeah, could you imagine me having to hear that 24 hours a day? Between, oh my God. All right, we came to get seeds, oh. and everybody's to pick their own seeds, whatever they want to grow in our garden. Is this the one? That is it. All right. This one is so different kinds. Oh, so if you want to get make pickles, you need to get smaller ones. But I want cucumbers too. All right. I'd like to grow dogs and cats. I'd like to no, grow dogs and cats. Oh my oh, gosh. It's pet grass. Oh, let's see. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to grow dogs and cats. I would like to grow. Gabby, <laughs> you have the best work finding the best seeds. Is that so funny? She thought these ones. <laughs> she thought we could grow dogs and cats. Not actually. I know, not actually. Yeah, that's it. See, 
pickling. That's to make cucumbers. All right. I just looked at the We're going to do a haul when we get home. I don't we need stuff. Bought a lot of there. junk today. Want to she wants to make nothing. Oh, Typical plant. almost 16 year old. Oh. Don't get me wrong, you guys. She lets me know when she wants up. And then she lets me know when she wants down. She sees the bag. She's like, what'd you get me? Over in this corner, <laughs> we went shopping. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh. I just love her so much. It's just hard for me to understand that she doesn't want to be picked up as much as I want to pick her up. <laughs> At least you can pick your dog up. Okay. So essentially we went shopping and we wanted to show you. We wanted to show you Daisy's issues about us shopping. My dog won't leave my lap. <laughs> oh, she sees a bag too. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting down. <laughs> Hi. These are the three worst ones. See, I swear, see Molly. They shoved their heads in. I swear, oh. Molly is like, like Gabby. Oh, hi, baby. Should we do the toy first? <laughs> I love you. Or should we do the treats first? Oh my goodness. Hi, Just wait Ellie. until I get all my loves, all my Ellie loves. <laughs> she wants to love us. She just wants to love us on her own terms. And I don't know why I'm so emotional about the fact that she's so independent and so strong-minded and doesn't want to be carried Thank around like a, like a baby. Yeah. Are you excited? All right, so we're going to do the puppy haul first. <laughs> and okay. see what we got. Actually, we got way more than this. We have more bags than this. All right, so first of all. She's got a horse. We got the horse. And everybody apparently wants the horse except for my dog. She's like, I want the food. <laughs> nope, now she wants the horse. <laughs> Can I take the tag off? Yep, take the tag off. So it was only 10 bucks. And what I like about it is that it is a rope inside here. Ruby only likes squeaky toys. So this is where it gets tricky. Sophie's like, I want my dog to have it. And I'm, oh, and Ruby got it. It's and she likes squeaky toys. Yeah, she loves squeaky toys. But that poor horse, it's it's going to be over it's gonna soon. It's going to be ripped up in like three seconds. Look, they, Ellie's trying to get it too. All right, get quick. Go to the next toy. It's hard for me to see them eating. Look at the muscles in her legs though. Honestly, like the muscles, oh my gosh, you guys should see. The muscle underneath here is huge. <laughs> Ellie's like, don't touch other dogs' muscles. You're just mine. She really wants that horse toy though. So I got this mega package of waste bag. And the only reason I got it is because I've never seen pink ones before and I really wanted to have I really wanted to have the pink ones. So I gave the other ones colors to the girls. They can use those because we really want to go. There's a couple of places that we plan to take the dogs this summer. Okay. The next toy. The next this. toy, this is for Ellie. And I have an idea. I try and put toys underneath this thing that the other dogs won't take so she can always have a safe place to play with toys. And they always take them. So this is what I'm gonna Ellie, do. Ellie, look at it. Is this you as want big that, as her? Ellie? She's like, yep, I'll take it. Here, but look what I'm gonna do. So my idea is to hook it to this table and then she can pull and she bite. Can squeal. She can pull and bite and chew as much as she wants and nobody will be able to get it away from and the then table. Daisy grabs it and drags the yeah, whole table. Yeah, Gabe, yeah. I mean, they, that could happen. She's unhappy with it that it's tied there. I also got this pink chewy thing. I got it for her because I noticed that we have an old one and she tries to chew it all the time. So we got this and I know Molly wants it for some reason. Get it, Molly, get it. You take it. Okay. <laughs> so I also picked this toy because it's a squeaker and one thing that our dogs kill squeakers, Molly kills squeakers so fast. And it has like a little hook here too. I could put it underneath the coffee table as well. Listen, you got a toy. That has a squeaker in it too. Go get that. And there we go, you guys. <laughs> the dogs are all happy with their new toys. All right, treats. <laughs> You said treats and Molly was like, Ruby's like, oh, I, I get it. Okay. Okay, I want to show them. So what else did we get here? So we got these bacon treats. Okay, I am against these. I think these are bad for dogs. Sophie got them. My dog can't even eat these. Yeah, your dog can't even eat them. I don't know if we'll use these. Um, we got these brushing chew bones things. Brushing chews. Can Daisy so, have those? Yep, yeah, there's 12 in here. Yeah. So they can each have three. 
And we got smoked pork. I'm most excited about these. These are smoked pork dental chews. Just one ingredient. Daisy can't have and those. Then we have beef dried, freeze dried beef liver. A freeze dried beef liver. And Daisy's treats, which are sweet potatoes. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, like most of you guys know, Daisy's deaf and she's a Dalmatian and Dalmatians can't have certain foods. It causes kidney stones. So we have to be really careful. And the, and the food that she can't eat is basically meat. <laughs> she can't eat the meat from dog food. Dog food, they always put like the the organ meat and stuff and she can't have organ meat because it's the highest in the things that she can't have so another thing that i got was this pet ear cleaner and the reason i got it is because when i got ellie who's just ran away ellie she took her toy in there, took her toy in there. she's probably gone to daisy's crate uh, when I got Ellie, one thing I noticed about, is, about her was that her ears were stinky. And I talked to the breeder about it, and she thinks that she got her ears wet um, the night before we got her. And I've been watching for an ear infection to emerge, and her ears seem to be clearing up. Like, they don't smell as bad. But I want to be able to clean her ears. And then we got three sets of bows. We got three sets of bows for Ellie. I got two sets of the same. I plan to put her hair in pigtails eventually, and then she can have like two, one bow in each pigtail, and then I got one set of these so they can go like on a top knot. And then the last thing is scissors. The last thing that we got for the dogs were thinning shears. I want another pair of scissors. I want the rounding scissors, but I'm going to have to order them from Amazon, I think, I because I want to be able to round her face. Oh. If I ever see, put her down. I always want to put her down if she wants to get down so she learns that it's safe to be picked up. Okay. See, she does come to me, but see, she doesn't like to be. She only likes what she likes. And you're not eating and my she scissors. Likes to chew stuff. She's like, wow, this family's cool. They bring bags of stuff home for us. Give me the scissors. All right, so now we're going to give all of our dogs a treat. So, Ruby, Daisy, da Ruby, Ruby you come over here. I'm going to give you one of these bones. Sit, stay. We're giving them these little bones, dental bone things. I don't know if they're any good for dogs. Uh, Ellie finally got the horse. I actually bought the horse for her. Wait, she finally got it. I see her over there. She stole the. Uh oh. Now she wants the dental you bone. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh no, she's not getting that. You said she can. Oh, all right. She can have that. Daisy got one. Come here, Sit. Molly gets one. I do one to Ellie. Yeah, because Ellie's trying to Ellie. take Ellie. take Ruby's. Ruby's is the Ellie. nicest dog. She Ellie. will never Ellie. growl at her. Sit. No, sit, good girl. <laughs> it's huge for her. I know, and they're gonna come. They're, look at they're already. Ruby's already done hers. They're gonna come. And where and, did Daisy go? To her. Crate. Yeah, Daisy went to her crate, but they're gonna come and take Ellie's. I'm sure of it. That's gonna like last for three days. Yeah, I should put it upstairs on my bedside table so I can give it to her at night. Or I should put it in my lap so she feels safe to eat it in my lap so no other dogs will eat it. All right, now that I sit on the floor all the time to make sure that nobody takes my dog's treat or to sit here so she can play and feel comfortable and, I, and she can climb on my lap whenever she wants to. So now that we sit on the floor, I'm gonna give you my haul. I got this little watering thing for our garden. We're gonna grow our garden stuff today, our plants. I got these uh, plant food. I always use these little spiky plant foods. I got a case of gum. Uh, we got these little things that you can write the name of whatever the seed is that you planted. I, got, I think I got two packs of these. We got those and we got all these seeds. So this year we're doing white onion. I thought I got green onion, white onion. Beans and peas, watermelon, tomatoes, pumpkin, peppers, tomatoes. I think I said tomatoes. I got a lot of tomatoes because Sam loves tomatoes. Carrots. This is the only seed pack that Gabby found that she wanted. We got cucumbers, more beans. Um, I think Gabby also got these scarlet flax flowers. Um, some squash. More cucumbers, uh, some uh, squ more squash, cantaloupe, and more peas. So that is what we're growing this year. Plus, we'll find some like so. We're gonna start these ourselves, and then we'll then we'll buy some plants that have already been started that are bigger than this when the time comes to plant our garden. 
And just like that, Daisy came and took Ellie's bones. Bone. No. I tried to stop it, but I just put the camera down and poof, it, they were gone. It was gone. So we had to rescue it. I also got a bunch of these pots. Uh, there's 22 in each, I think. I got these little things to put them in. I think there's, how many trays are here? These are called cedar trays. There's five trays. So I got those to put the pots in. And then I got a bunch of dirt. A ton of dirt, and that is it. That is our huge haul. Don't you know that you're beautiful?